for sure, for sure, for sure. Ovulation. Just look at that. It's like she had a, ate a football last night. Uh, it's still there, so we'll see how long it lasts. And then the ghost. Still chilling on the heat, looking a little fatter for sure. And the annery with the jungle. It's hard to see, but she looks a little bit bigger today too, but for sure, for sure, for sure, this one is great. All right, so December 12, 12, 12, 12, 2012. But uh, you can see that's the hypo jungle breeding that female anery again. So that's a good sign. I didn't think she, nothing's really gone on with her. She's always off the heat, so I'm pretty happy to see that. That's one of the things I really hope. The hype on the IMG. Sorry for the lighting and this dirty glass, but I don't want to disturb anyone too much. So, and like I said, the ghost has been on the heat. That back corner there is where the heat is, and her. Uh, second third half is always on it and then this is the girl that I'm pretty sure ovulated last night throughout to this morning and now all of a sudden it's like her maternal instinct kicked in she's had a litter before boom she's coiled on the heat uh, the male was cruising around behind the water dish uh, earlier but now he's right on top of her so I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm gonna say 100% gravid she has well not gravid but she ovulated and uh, I'm betting there's gonna be a shed within 18 to 23 days because she has not shed for a while whereas the ghost and the anery both shed upon introduction let's say uh, Six weeks ago or so. And you can see she's she's big, but there's no big centralized ovulation like the hypo had the other day. And I'm liking how the males lined up right now. Alright, so I came in the snake room today, December 13th, and this ghost girl who I thought was gravid because she's been on the heat constantly, turns out maybe she isn't because it looks like she's ovulating right now. See some good scale separation there. Uh, I can tell she's swole up. Looks like she ate something, but she hasn't had a meal in 26 days or so. so. And then here's the hypo again been on the heat now two days ever since that ovulation she's been coiled on the heat there's the male way across the cage wants nothing to do with her good good signs and she is massive so I'm thinking like maybe 30 35 babies one more from the top view of that ghost you can see she's skinny 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 up front skinny up front and then boom ovulation so my flashlight dead but it is December 18th and you can see the hypo is starting to go into a shed. Uh, you can see her eyes are just starting to get a little dark now. So I'm suspecting this is the POS, post ovulation shed. Still have the male in there, probably going to separate everyone in the next few days or so. Two days before the world ends. Uh, these guys look like they might be doing a little bit of courting action, but for some reason this female 
hasn't taken yet. Whereas I'm pretty sure that this female has, and that's the ghost. I seen her swell up a little bit the other day. Uh, maybe a week ago or whatever was in that video. And then there's this girl. And you can just tell by how she's even laying circled around the heat there. Some scale separation. And boom, eyes are going blue. And she actually had an ovulation about a week ago, eight, nine days ago or so. And I was just waiting for that shed, but she had a huge swelling. I posted some pictures up on Facebook and stuff. If you don't have the group yet, betterboa.com. Make sure you like it on there. Alright, so it's almost midnight of December 21st. Well, it's going to turn into December 21st right away. And I just wanted to get a quick end of the world video, I guess you could call it. Just an update on what's going on here. Uh, you can see these two separate again. Not much going on, no swelling, no nothing. It's starting to drive me nuts. Then you got the ghost, the Anne G. She's laying kind of funny, but not much else. I think she's going in the shed right away. And then the hypo again, one last time. Let's see. Blue eyes. So I'm gonna spray these guys all down. Hey, get out of here, kitty. I'm gonna spray them all down just so they have some humidity. It also helps induce breeding. It's usually they breed in the rainy season. So I'm gonna give everybody a nice spray down. So there's the anery Medusa in the background. Just want to soak everything down. Heat pad in there will start evaporating the water and make it into humidity. Uh, then here's the ghost in the IMG. I'm hoping she goes in the shed. Pretty sure I viewed an ovulation. If not a post ovulation, one of the two. This top one, this one I'm like, like I said, pretty, 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 pretty positive on. Uh, I've seen a huge swelling, monster sized swelling. She's starting to lay coiled up on the heat. Uh, probably after the shed, I'll confirm the heartbeats with my Doppler, and after that, uh, gonna be about three months 105 days or so and we should have a freaking litter of hypo motleys <laughs>